Hey guys, what's up? Pasay Baller here. We are now on this first game of this October 26, 2022 NBA game day. We have a lot of games for today. If I'm not mistaken, there are actually 10. So let's kick things off by uh, discussing this first game. This is going to be the game between Orlando Magic uh, with a record of 0 wins and 4 losses. Visiting Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, the one at home with a record of 2 wins and 1 loss. Uh, by the way, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, we have a lot of games for today. Uh, yesterday was a you know was a bad day. Um, we couldn't figure it out, but uh, hopefully, this will be a much much better day for all of us. All right, so let's uh, start by uh, talking about Orlando Magic. Again, just like what I said earlier, their record is at zero wins and four losses. The number one pick in the overall, uh, the number one pick in this draft um, is a uh, uh, Bancaro, and Bancaro is actually doing well. You know, he's actually playing like he is the number one pick. Um, he is scoring, he is rebounding, he is actually passing, he he is also defending. Uh, mind you, it's not like he's not actually getting uh, getting some help. He is getting some help. Uh, he is getting help from Anthony, from Carter. Man, they're even getting uh, um, a lot of a lot of help from Ball Ball, especially uh, from that game against uh, the New York Knicks. Ball Ball really sh really showed what he can do. Offense, defense, and his height is something that uh, th that can't be taught. If you know what I'm saying. It's just that towards the end, uh, Orlando Magic is really having some hard time figuring out how to grab that win. Um, out of the four wins that uh, I mean losses that Orlando Magic had, three out of four they were not able to cover at least the spread or the plus. Um, the only one that they were, they were able to cover was against a tired Boston Celtics man. Now if you take a look at the home team, the Cleveland Cavaliers. By the way, both teams are actually coming off rest, so. Uh, um, fatigue shouldn't be a factor. Home court is uh, being um, uh, home court advantage is being enjoyed by uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. Momentum is also on their side, having back-to-back -back wins approaching this game. Um, the the minus, by the way, is minus eight towards Cleveland, and I can't uh, blame the bookies for that because again, um, Cleveland is going back to back, and they even defeated Washington Wizards on that. A lot of people did not see that coming or did not expect that, especially Washington Wizards were doing well. Now, uh, Donovan Mitchell is actually showing that he's a fit, you know. We, we must remember, um, at this record of two wins and one loss, they don't even have Garland yet. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is that Cleveland Cavaliers is really having a good start. Just imagine if Garland will be there. It will be an easier time for Donovan Mitchell distributing the ball and all that. And it will be better for all of those starters for the Cavs. Minus eight, the spread. Looking at, uh, you know, looking at uh, Orlando Magic, especially with, with the way they're having... Um, trouble towards the end with the way they're having uh, trouble covering the spread it's, it's just not going to be wise if we would be side against uh, if we would be side on Orlando Magic especially Cleveland Cavaliers is at home they ha they're having momentum and then they're on a back-to-back -back win so I'm gonna side with the Cleveland Cavaliers and Donovan Mitchell in here with a minus eight peace out pass love and God bless